Man, I'm out here taking this thing apart. Look at this. See that head cracked. So back in 2018, we blew one up on Allen's truck and it cracked in the same exact spot down through here on the motor we blowed up. This is the opposite head off of it. So it kind of makes you wonder if this head wasn't already compromised. I don't know if it was or if it wasn't, but it makes me wonder because, it, it, like I said, it was the head on his done the same thing, blowed up, and it's one of the pairs from that. So, I wonder if that's what got us. So I look, and it don't look like the gasket is actually uh, don't like it torched nothing. It's pushed. And then back here, if you look, it cracked back there also. So we'll see. We'll get it apart and we'll go from there. Well, we found that had pulled the thread out of that one hole right there. So I need to see if that thing's been time started or not. Because it might be repairable. Might not. We'll find out. Caden said if I'd be real easy with this, we could probably reuse it. Well, it's just fine to me. So he's telling me as I'm pulling it off. Hold this, Caden. Hold this real looks quick. Looks fine to me. I think the surface is good. Yeah, I don't see nothing. There ain't nothing there. It's completely smooth. Ha! <laughs> LS9 head gaskets, here we come. Some new heads. Well, we're back at it again. We got our, our heads. I gotta go back and drill the concrete out of these because we filled these years ago. These were the first set of heads Nigel had on the car. They've never been torched cut touch with nothing they they've been ran and done good i'm pretty sure we went for i think we went like 450s with these heads or whatever if i remember correct 450 flat before we got the new one i don't know we might have might not i can't, I can't really remember honestly it's been so long ago. but they rode in the trailer for two years so i'm gonna go home and get these mortar get the mortar out of where we circulate water he gave me a set of gaskets that we had over there I got, I got the old Kent Moore box back here behind me that has the uh, the stuff to repair the thread. That hole hadn't been repaired. The biggest problem with the LC9 block is the is the freaking head bolt thread. That's what causes me all the problems, period. I really need to go ahead and get a block, half inch stud it, and go that route, I would be good. You know what I mean? Like, if I, if I just go through and half inch head stud it, we'd be just fine. That thing would just Cadillac and we'd be good to go. That's the biggest problem that we have. So I might just go and sell my head studs, half inch studs, not sell this yet. But I might plan, but ultimately, I made a post online and I was like, I, I, I put some stuff for sale. Well, you know, them Ford boys, they got to jump in my mailbox and people got to start asking me, what are you gonna put in it now? What are you gonna put in it now? Are you putting your car out? No, oh, I ain't parking it out. I might park some parts out on it, part ways with them, but that thing, that thing's paid for. You know what I mean? Like that thing, I'm good. That thing can sit there. I'm fine. The only reason why I put it back together is for y'all. I'm like, I was going to go through and just go ahead and sell the drive or sell the motor out of it, rebuild the transmission, and go ahead and just patch it up for. You know what I mean? Just let it sit there for a little bit instead of patching it up. And I'm, I'm ultimately I'm putting the LT motor in the car. That LT motor is a bad mamma jamma. At the weight of Nigel's car and what it runs, I already see everything I need to know. That motor is bad, bad. Like it's a, it's going to be a hot rod. So very, very proud. Very like BTR done a, a jam up job on that motor. That motor is freaking tipped ice top of the line and it's freaking expensive. And the problem is. I ain't got money like that right now. I'm a person that, if you give me a goal, I can always achieve my goals. Sometimes it just takes me a little longer. So, with it only being September, we still got October, November to race. Me not racing for two months is kind of, eh, too cool with that, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't, I don't go out here and not not race. And I mean, we got other stuff to race, but the car really needs to get, needs to be together. So. When I pulled that head off earlier and seen that the block ain't hurt, other than that needing to repair that thread, I said, well, I'll find me a set of heads and throw on it. So a new set of heads for $2,300, I got these for $1,200. So I'm not, I'm not hurt. I, I've had some people that look out for me. I appreciate y'all. It helps out, it does help out. 
I'm not, like I said, for a long, long time, I've done everything on my own. I've done every, every, everything I ever bought. But I do have people that have looked out for me that's, hey, man, let me give you a couple dollars to help you out. And I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Like, for a long time, it took a lot for me to ever accept. And then I realized that these people are there for the show, too. You know what I mean? So that sometimes you got to let people help you help yourself to get better, you know? So that being the case, I've had a few people help me out. I don't know if they want to be named or if they don't want to be named, but I appreciate y'all. I really, really do. It does help us out a lot. And that's what funded this right here. I bought these heads, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna patch this thing up. It either go or she'll blow. It is what it is. It ain't gonna hurt my feelings either way. When it's gonna cost me probably fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to go to the LT motor, then spending twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars really don't hurt my feelings right now you know what I mean like just to spend this little bit of money and, and get it back together and, and maybe make another race or maybe make the rest of the season it's a 50 50 chance but i'm more on the lines of a person that would rather know that hey that wouldn't work and that didn't work and not than it be a person that goes i wish i would have tried and i wish i would have known i'd rather know the outcome than live off of what is and what could have been and what should have been, you know what I mean? So, I know we got a hot rod. I know, like, we got a car to do everything I wanted to do. We just had some dumb issues this year, and I think going through and patching up this and patching up that, some of the things worked, but some of the things didn't. And it's just one of them things that, like, we got us a good set of heads now. Get them cleaned up, get them put on the car. I'm going to have to redo my water lines water back in the block so it'll be a little bit different it should be a little better so uh, hopefully taking this few steps back to where we used to be a little bit we'll be a little bit better off right now and it can last a little long because used to i could put a motor together and it would last us a year we go all season on motor before we need to be fresher. here lately can't even make it out one race without freaking torching a head gasket here and there so I ain't a quitter. I can just tell you that I've never been a quitter, never will be a quitter. So if you come to fight me, you come to fight me. Because I don't quit. It's just one of them things I, I don't I don't give up on myself. I never will, never have, never I'm just not that guy. I don't ever uh, I don't accept quitting. I'll accept the loss. I won't accept quitting. I won't I will never quit on myself. I'm just and it's part of being a man. It's just what one of some of the things I believe in and some of the stuff that's in my DNA growing up that made me the way I am. You know, it makes me that's why I'm as honest as I am and as truthful as I am. And I don't hide stuff from y'all, I don't sugarcoat it. I'm not on here putting it on for a TV show. I'm not one of these people that that have to put on front in front of people. The same you see is the same you get. And you love me or hate me, but you still you got me, you know. But I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Let's get this thing back together. Y'all check this out. Drag week. Look at that, boy. 2023. Look at them pulling <laughs> us so we can sit big around. What's wrong with this Hey, they car? make this a checkpoint. There's 30 more coming. There you go. That works. <laughs> Kane comes home from school. I'm getting pulled the other head off that thing. Oh. Decided to come out here today. Put a transmission in this little Avenger. Let's get here and get these bolts out real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna start down on the bottom. I get me a piece of cardboard, lay on it. We'll pull the uh, this crossbar out of it for the mount. Pull it loose. I'll go ahead and get my converter bolts out. Once I get my converter bolts out, I'll take my starter loose, and then heck, it'll be nothing but pulling the CV axle on this side and pulling the uh, bell bolts. We'll have it out. Fire this thing up, boy. Yeah. Fire it up. Tell me what you think. What do you mean? Fire it up. See it? Sounds better, don't it? I know. Where is it? 
Oh, I see it. Yeah. See, I just cut them off. Yeah. Done it earlier for you. Sounds a little better, don't it? Grab the key out. Let's yeah, go. Let's it run like it. Like it like rumbles a little bit. It has deep sound, don't it? Yeah. Let's run that knock. It's out of gas, so we'll crank up. We'll hear it. Y'all check that out back there. That Jeep don't care. Look at it. Y'all think we playing? Not okay. What do they think? Uh huh? That Jeep care that truck's behind us. It hey, don't care about that truck. Pulls right down the road. 60 mile an hour. 55, 60. Like it ain't nothing. You ain't got a Jeep. You should own a Jeep. Everybody should own a Jeep. And not just any Jeep. You gotta be old Grand Cherokee all-wheel drive.